Everybody talks about traveling the world and visiting crazy places. But you don't need to go far. Just start your adventure in front of your own door. Planning a road trip is easy. Take your car, your cam and make sure you take along the right people. In my case, Marvin and Urs. They will accompany me for 4 days on my trip through the south of Switzerland. It didn't take 10 minutes until the first girlfriend called us. The good side, one of us can check the water temperature. By the way, you don't have a name yet. Our trip brings us all across Switzerland and even on the top of the Gotthard. It's really worth it to make a few small stops to enjoy the beauty of the landscape and the mountains. At our first destination we met Adriano. He is a pilot and he expects us at the airport of Lugano. He wants to show us the Ticino from above. shaken we are on the way to the Verzasca Valley. Sadly, the weather is not as good as our food. If you start your day with a view like this, you know it's gonna be a good one. We are lucky the weather is on our side and we can continue our way even deeper into the valleys Verzasca and Macho. The big dome in the Wertzasco Valley is well known for his special sport. Bungee jumping. Even James Bond jumped down here in the movie Goldeneye. While Marin is preparing for his storm, we send somebody else to test out how horrible it will be. And if he survived it, so will Marin. Baptized Bonji, we are on the way to the Cardano, high above Lucarno. Take a special look on the timetable. If you miss the last cable car, you need to carry your stuff all the way up. It's worth the effort. We have the place to ourselves, and the view is just incredible. Even tonight. As the cable car starts running again, our terrace fills slowly with paragliders. One of them is Federico and his partner. They bring us back to Lucano. 
It's really not that easy to find a starting spot among all these people. to enjoy those mountains, the lake and the view call like this. Our pilots will climb the mountain after the landing again, while we take the way to Ascona. <laughs> it's so hot everywhere in this city. Thanks to wearing red out boats, we are able to enjoy the lake and the cooling. The engine has limited power, but we are lucky and can go on a ride on a little bit bigger motorized boat. last night directly at the lake promenade, where we start our final tour at the next day. Sadly there are just two of this, so we have to take this. We can achieve a lot in 4 days. We traveled once across Ticino just as an example. You can start your road trip every time and everywhere. You don't need a lot to see much and with the right people it cannot go wrong. A special thanks to all these companies. It wouldn't have gone without you.